Kia ora. For each of us, our lives are lived at the intersection of the different identities that we carry. For myself, uh, I'm white, upper middle class, I'm a male, I'm also a new father, I'm an immigrant to this country. Um, and as we know, the identities that we carry can bring uh, social privilege or they can be a social burden for us, right? They could be a source of oppression sometimes. Now, and, and some of us uh, deal with multiple uh, sources of burden according to their identity. They are multiply marginalized. Now, I study uh, inequality, and, and there's a problem with a lot of quantitative research on inequality in that it, it assumes or it presupposes that these different identities we carry are independent. Now, from a research perspective, that drastically oversimplifies the picture of inequality in society. And also what it does, it prevents the stories of those that experience multiple forms of marginalizations from telling their stories through data. So my solution to this problem was to develop a quantitative approach which takes differences in group outcomes and decomposes it into main effects and intersectional effects or interaction effects. So say, for example, that we wanted to look at low-income Pacifica women. Um, the main effects that we'd be looking at would be being low income, being Pacifica, and being a woman. And now the interaction effects would be simultaneously being a woman and being Pacifica, or simultaneously being low income and being a woman. Now adding these dimensions to the analysis provides a richer understanding of the landscape of inequality in society. So what I have here is just a, a super brief example, and I won't do any numbers, I won't interpret anything like that, but I want to show you how this process works. So in the first uh, table here, I'm just regressing the outcome on the main effect and the interaction effect. Now these effects can be aggregated up to table two, where you see the differences in outcomes by group. And the real power of this method shines in table three, where we can, we can zoom in and look at low SES or low income Pacifica women, and we can say, well, yes, the main effects matter, being Pacific matters, being a woman matters, being low income matters, but how these different forms of our identities impact or interact with each other is also an important part of the story. Two things I'd like to mention really briefly before concluding. In terms of policy, uh, this, is, this has a lot of potential, right, because if we're developing public policies to ameliorate issues of inequality excuse me, in society, then this allows um, policymakers to identify the question more clearly and to target those funds. Number two, this is a very flexible method that can be applied to education, criminal justice, and health disparities, for example. Thank you. <laughs>